members of the Sixth National Council took oath of office on the 15th of December last year. And before they go into business of the house, they are required to undergo an induction course on the do's and don'ts of Parliament. The chairperson has urged the members to take the induction program serious to avoid any transgression of the constitution in line with being a member of parliament. Part of what we are likely to, progress, uh, to trans transgress is the honoring of uh, the declaration of asset, more especially when we haven't declared our asset. It will be made clear to you as to what it means if um, this word is very new. Muha says members of parliament are expected to present themselves in an acceptable manner, not only when in the chamber, but public, to ensure that parliament remains relevant in addressing the needs of the communities and also to ensure that the communities they represent do not lose hope and trust in them. The chairperson also reminded the MPs that they have a lot of work waiting for them that should not be delayed. Our immediate focus will be to constitute parliamentary committees of this house and other institutional arrangements. We must also ensure that the program of a national council is designed to effectively do the oversight. It is designed to specifically do the monitoring and to effectively do the evaluation of uh, government ministries, government departments, and agencies. Items to be discussed include the mandate of the National Council, parliamentary rules and procedures, as well as powers and functions of the Committee on Standing Rules and Orders. Timo Andreas, NBC News, Parliament.